So now take up the next concept in this chapter and that is the sector of a circle, right? So first of all, let us try to understand what a sector is, right? Suppose we just have a circle with a center O as drawn here. Now I draw any two radii of the circle. So this is one radius and this is another radius. So we have two radii of the circle. Suppose OA and OB, right? So here OA is a radius, OB is a radius and AB, AB is a part of the circle, right? It is a part of a circle enclosed or bounded within two points and this AB is called an arc of the circle. It is called an arc of the circle. So basically OA is a radius, OB is a radius and AB is an arc. Now these three components encompass some region. Can you see this? Right? So they encompass, they enclose some particular region like this AOB. So the region enclosed by two radii and their corresponding arc, that region is called the sector of the circle, right? So if you see AB is an arc, OA, OB are radii. So we say that this region is called a sector of the circle, right? It is called a sector. And this, there are two kinds of sectors. This is there's a major sector and there is a minor sector. Major sector is that sector which has a larger area. So this area is the major sector since it's all since it encompasses a larger area and this is the minor sector which encompasses a smaller area. Okay? So you can see here that this region is the sector. There are two kinds of sectors, major sector and minor sector. So this is the major sector. Right? So that is a sector of a circle. If you want to define a sector properly, then this is the definition of a sector. Sector is basically a region of a circle, a region of a circle enclosed by two radii and the corresponding arc. Okay, that is called the sector of a circle, right? So now we are going to learn how to find the rate, how to find the area of this sector, right? So for example, we have a circle and this is the center of the circle. Now it forms a sector with some two radii. Right. Now these two radii, suppose OA and OB, they are going to subtend an angle at the center, right? This arc is going to subtend an angle at the sector. So you can see there's an angle being subtended by this sector, this arc, by this arc, an angle is being subtended at the center. Let this angle be some theta, right? Let it be some theta. Now OA and OB are radii of the circle and this is some theta. So First of all, we need to find this AB length, right? That's how do we find this AB length, right? Let's learn that. This AB length is nothing but an arc of the circle. It is a part of the circumference of the circle, right? The formula to find this AB arc, which is denoted by L, which is the arc of that sector L, the formula to find it is theta by 360 degrees into 2 pi r because it is a part of the of the circumference and it is a part of the circumference which occupies a particular fraction of the circumference and to find that particular fraction we divide the angle subtended by that arc at the center with 360 degrees because the full angle of the circle is 360 degrees so theta by 360 degrees into 2 pi r right so that is what we call the length of this sector L, right? This the circumference of the sector. Now, if you want to find the perimeter of the sector, perimeter will include these linear radii also. So it will be L plus 2R. That is the perimeter of the sector. 
right this is the circumference that is the part of the length of the arc of the sector right that's your l which is theta by 360 to 2 pi r perimeter will be including the two radii that will be l plus 2 r right now how to find the area of this particular sector here i am talking about this minor sector right not the major sector so how do we find the area of the sector now we know that the area of the total circle area of the whole circle will be pi r squared right that's going to be the area of the sector of the circle so now it is occupying a particular angle right suppose theta it is occupying a theta angle right so can we write this pi r square as 360 by 360 360 degrees by 360 degrees into pi r square right can we say that so basically the radii is making a 360 degree angle and the area swept by the radius of the circle when it sweeps a 360 degree angle is pi r square so when it sweeps a one degree angle when the radius sweeps only a one degree angle here it's sweeping a 360 degree angle a whole circle that is why 360 by 360 that is pi r square right so if it's sweeping a only if it's sweeping only a one degree angle then it will be one by 360 into pi r square i hope you're getting it right it's very easy to understand it now one degree angle one by 360 into pi r square so if it sweeps an angle of theta theta degrees then it will be theta by 360 into pi r square so this is the formula to find the area of a sector theta by 360 into pi r square right that's it as easy as that getting my point yes very good now these are some standard formulae for a sector right so i hope you're absolutely clear with this right and this is how we find the area of the sector the length of the arc of the sector and the perimeter of the sector right so I hope that's absolutely clear i've defined a sector we have explained the different areas and concepts with this with regards to a sector and using these direct formulas you can solve any question in your ncrt or in any other book if you still have any kind of doubt please post it in the comment section below i'll definitely answer to it and any questions are also welcome which i'll accumulate together from various sources and then maybe make a big video on that right so thank you very much for joining me goodbye stay healthy stay smart and do keep studying Bye bye